Today we're in Barbican. I'm using the Ricoh GR3X. I've got the old XS10 out and uh, it's got a kit lens on it though, so I'm going to be limited from my stop, but we'll see how it goes. Well, I'll be a quick one because I've uh, seen security already. Peace. Peace. Right, are we going the same way? Uh, you know what, shall we do a loop? Uh, Can we do a loop? A yeah, which way do you want to go? I'm going to go this way first. Just to see those builders over there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go this way. All right, so I'm just gonna go over here where these builders are. So Barbican is really good because you have lots of open space like this. I don't know if you can see it on camera there. But yeah, lots of open space like this where there are little sections, little framings. Kind of limited. It only goes down to 3.5 at the low end, so I might have to do something mad with my short speed. Oh, well over 80. It does have stabilization though, so hopefully. Let's get a little shot on here, shall we? I don't know if you can see. We shall see what the uh, stabilization is like. Yes. Shooting on aperture priority mode, and I would like to be shooting at around f4, I think. Another nice little frame. I kind of limited myself to like a 35 mil range because it goes to 15 to 45 crop sensor. The f-stop moves, it's not constant f-stop, so, so I'm gonna limit myself so I can stick to like f4. But it's a bit of a dark day, and because it's so dark, I'm not sure I can get moving people. I'm not freezing them anyway. Might have to get a motion blur on. Get down this way, I don't want to follow them. I'm shooting raw, but I've got classic chrome simulation on. I really want that shot. Oh, fuck it. We're gonna go for it. It's so quiet around here, I feel like I have to whisper almost. And as well, if you come here shooting, guys, you've got to remember that all these are people's houses, so. Obviously you're, you know, you can shoot here. It's not against the law or anything, but just be respectful of that. If you're pointing cameras up there, you know, that's somebody's house. We actually had a poll on YouTube about what camera do you think that I'm shooting now? And so in the poll it was the Rico, obviously, which is the right answer. And I think 93% of you got it wrong. You all thought I was shooting with a new Sony cyber shoot. But uh, oh, I can confirm you are wrong. See, so yeah, I chose the Rico because it is just so small, compact. Like, if I'm walking around with this, everyone just thinks like I'm a tourist taking snaps to show his family when he gets back home. But well, they don't know it's a little beast of a camera. I might camp here because I like the lighting and the leading lines. I think my shutter speed was a little bit too fast for that. Might be too dark. I wonder if I can. This is the camera I used to shoot with all the time when I first started. 
but I've been using the Nikon now for like a year, so I've kind of forgot how to use it. <laughs> I've got that lined up. Yeah. I might have to wait for someone actually, but I don't know if I can be bothered to do that. I have no idea where Sean's gone. Not sure where Liam has got to. Do appear to have lost him. It's a nice little cityscape there. I might get tilt, tilt upwards so you can see. I quite want to focus on the uh, signpost there, although it blows out the highlights at the top. As you can see, I'm down to one bar, so that's not good. Well, my camera is about dead, my friend. Already? <laughs> Some of us charge our gear. Huh? Some of us charge our gear. Charge my nick on. Look at that. Huh? <sighs> oh, I'm done with this anyway.